I take the three dogs everywhere I go. If I go to the grocery store, they come and sit in the car. If I go to the gym sometimes, I'll bring them with me. When I go to work, they come with me. When I go to my family and friends' houses, they have to come with me. I will not leave them. Get back! Once all the dogs were in the car, and Ashley got in, and I tried to get in, Henry put his head out. He did not want me near that car, and he was being ultra-protective. I'm going to try and get in here without getting my head bitten off. Shut up! Stop it! Henry! Stop! Bad. Ashley does yell at the dogs a lot in the car, but the yelling just has no effect on the dogs whatsoever. They don't listen to her. And the yelling makes their behavior worse. Jackson! Henry, would you stop barking? If they see anybody walking along the street, they go ballistic, especially Jackson. Oh, there goes the... Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh. I mean, it is. Well, that's, that's effective. We're on a windy country road. She's driving with one hand as she's trying to push the other dogs with her back, and I'm nervous we're going to have an accident. And when Ashley stops for a quick errand, the dogs pose another kind of danger. If Ashley wants to stop at the supermarket, she leaves the air conditioning on, the car running, but the window's down for the dogs. So anybody passing that car has a huge Great Dane head lunging out at them. Don't touch them. That is a massive liability. I have been in many cars with very difficult dogs, but I have to say, this gets the prize for being the craziest car ride I have ever been on. Jackson! Shut up! Now, Ashley, I have never been as nervous as I was driving in your car. Oh, there it goes. Oh, dear. If you go for a trip to the convenience store, why do you need to take your dogs? It's easier to just take them than to fight them off That's and easier. leave them. That's easier? You're saying the ride in the car is easier? <laughs> now, she wants to address the dangerous situation in Ashley's car. First thing I did with the car was to put up a reliable divider so that the dogs couldn't knock it down. And that's not the only change she's made. Oh, wow. In order for Ashley to get some control, I had to cut the vision out completely so that the dogs would focus on Ashley. And this is lawful, it's not against the law because you can still see out of your wing mirrors, but I blacked out the back of your car here. The reason why all of them are going off when they see people come, it's the visual stimulation. When you cut out the visual stimulation, then you're gonna have dogs that don't react so much. Come on. When you're opening the door, they're all going to come in. Mm -hmm. Just wait. Up. Wait. There is no way I was going to let those dogs in until they waited. Wait. And the hatchback was open. And then I told them wait. in. OK, and you get Jackson in. Jackson in. Go on. Go. Up. Good. Unbelievable. Charlotte, come here. Charlotte, come on, girl. Stay. Dup, dup, dup. Henry, in. Come on. Immediately, I turned my back, as if to say, I'm ignoring that behavior. Then Henry. I faced him again on, and said, boy. in, and he got back in. in. Good girl. Charlotte, in. <laughs> OK, I would like you to do this. Come on. They were actually laying down. Wait. That's it. And put your hand out. Wait. Wait. Good. Wait. Good. Wait, Henry. OK. In. Good That's boy. That's it. Good. In. Tell him to go Come in on, again. Get in the car, Henry. Charlotte, in the car. Good girl. Henry. Get him in again. Come on. Come on, buddy. It's OK. No, not it's OK. In. Henry, in, buddy. Not in, buddy. In. in. Henry, in. In. <laughs> get him in take there. Me seriously. Go to the thing and get Henry, him in there. Henry, in. That's in. it. Move. In. Okay, Charlotte, Charlotte in. in. Good girl. Good. Shut that door. 
It actually felt really good to be able to be strict and stern with the dogs. I've never done that before, and it was actually pretty empowering. The modifications have an immediate impact. Nice to be able to get in without my head bitten off. And no barking. The dog's going to be able to see out now. But as soon as Jackson or any one of them barks, this is closed and will cut their vision off completely. OK. I'm going to operate the curtain, so you just drive. The first few miles are surprisingly calm. Do you keep saying quiet? Yeah, good. I what? like just to say quiet, good. So they stop at the market to continue the training. Enough. Five seconds of quiet. Wow. Good. Quiet. Quiet. Very good. good. Ashley gets to test what she's learned when a friend stops by to chat. Hey, Ashley. Hi. How you doing? How are you? Oh, Enough. You got dogs. Enough. Now, ignore them. Keep talking. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Doing good. Doing some shopping today? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, now they got five seconds of quiet. You open it up. Good quiet. I think that that is a miracle curtain. I've never seen the dogs behave so well in the car. I never imagined it was possible. And I will be using that curtain daily. I can't believe how good they were. Your challenge, and this might take weeks, it might take months, is to have all the panels off. And you're controlling those dogs with your voice. There's no reason why the dogs need to be controlling in the car anymore. It's going to be a while, though, before all the dogs get it. But I believe that in the future they will. Victoria Stillwell has left Josh and Ashley for a few days to continue the training on their own. So far, the dogs have continued to make progress in the car. With the dogs behaving perfectly, Ashley is able to concentrate on the road, even with the curtain open and the back panel removed. The car training went very well. I can actually drive and focus on what I'm doing and not worry about getting in a wreck every time we hit the streets. Very good puppies. 